Today I'm here at Wembley Stadium for the biggest day in the non-league football calendar. It's non-league finals day. Every season on the same day, two finals take place here at the home of England football. The FA Vars final, which today is a contest between Little Hampton Town and Newport Pagnell Town, and the FA Trophy final, which today is a contest between National League sides Wrexham and Bromley. Now one ticket today gets you access to both of the games, which is a really good deal, and it does encourage a lot of people who wouldn't just come to one game to come down to Wembley to watch both of the games. Uh, and the seat I'm in puts me in the Wrexham end for their game and the Little Hampton end for their game as well. Yet another corner. Same tactic again. Long shot taken. Oh my goodness me! What a fantastic goal! And the green side of Bumpy are up. That is absolutely incredible. The Newport fans are up. Like they've won the whole competition and rightly so because that goal is something you only score once. Corner for Little Hampton in what I believe is their first of the game. Can they make it count into the box? Back post. It's up in the air like a volleyball game. And now Newport are the ones on the ball. One back, but not for long. And that's a great ball forward. It's two against one here. He's played it in. Oh, and that's not a brilliant pass, but that was hit correctly. That could have made it 2-0. A collision of heads between two players, one from Littlehampton and one from Newport. The referee stops the game immediately and uh, both medics from both teams come on. Well, the player is now being taken off the pitch on a stretcher, which you do not like to see at all. Uh, and obviously there's not help the players on the pitch either. But hopefully she can get back out onto the pitch soon and uh, I wish him a speedy recovery. Half time here at Wembley Stadium in the FA Vars final. 1 0 to Newport, Hagley Town after that fantastic goal in the 20th minute or so. Okay, so as always, we've got some food, uh, and the only thing they've got open right now is chicken and chips. And I was a bit skeptical at first after seeing the nearly £9 price tag, but honestly, it's really, really nice. Chips are extra crispy and hot, the chicken's really nicely seasoned. Uh, overall, I'd go 7 out of 10, just not down because of the price. And we're back underway here at Wembley for the second half of the FA Vars final. We've got one ball back here. It's put in the box. It's a goal, and it's another one added to their tally. Ben Shepard scoring that one. Thought he'd be in the ITV studios at this time.
Liverpool can celebrate like they've just scored a goal. And the end goal is just the goal kick. Another one that's not awarded. Oh, and now what a chance for Newport. They can wrap up the game here. He carries on going. And that's a penalty to the Swans. Well, this could be it. 28 minutes left in this game. But it could all be done. This goes into the back of the net. Referee blows his whistle. And it's slotted home. A fantastic penalty. And the new four fans, for the third time today, go absolutely crazy. Play from Newport, put in the box. Oh, and it's hit the crossbar. And that is it. Full time here at Wembley Stadium, and the Swans have done it. Newport Festival Town are the winners of the 2022 SA Bars, comfortably winning 3-0 against Littlehampton. Well, soon she love to see. It's not just the winners celebrating, it's also the losers, because I'm sure for all them little Hampton players and fans, to just even get to Wembley is an incredible achievement, so welcome to them, and of course congratulations to, where are they, Newport Packle Town. Moving on to match two. So now we're moving on to match two of the day, Wrexham versus Bromley. As you can see, fans are already starting to pile into the ground now, creating a really good atmosphere, and hopefully it's an equally good game. Shortly before the game, the owner of Wrexham, actor Ryan Reynolds, came out onto the pitch. For this game, I'm going to be commentating from the comfort of my own home, as you wouldn't have been able to hear me through the microphone due to the absolutely incredible atmosphere being created by both sets of fans. What you will notice throughout this game is that there's a lot of free kicks. This one wasn't scored though. There was also a few dodgy shots. Wrexham then had a massive opportunity, which somehow wasn't scored. This was a nice bit of play by Bromley, however, it was cleared by the Wrexham defence. Unfortunately though, for the second time in the day, a player had to be stretched off the pitch, this time for Bromley. Hopefully though, he is back on the pitch soon and it's nothing serious. And that was it for the first half, a fairly evenly matched game so far with no goals scored. Soon enough, the two teams were back out on the pitch for the second half.
Wrexham then had a great chance and I think everyone in the ground thought that they had scored. However, it was just wide of the post. Soon after, the same thing happened to Bromley, however, this time the ball did end up in the back of the net. As Wrexham were looking to get back into the game, they did find themselves get the ball in the back of the net, however it was ruled out for offside. Some fans then kept on setting off flares and throwing them onto the pitch, which really did just stop their momentum and ultimately made them lose the game in the end. <laughs> and that was full time, Bromley narrowly getting a win against Wrexham to lift the FA Trophy 2022. the end of another video and I really hope you have enjoyed watching. Uh, in terms of the first game, I did think it was the better game of the two, of course. Uh, one was 1-0, one, one was 3-0. I'd rather go and see a 3-0 and that happened to be the first game. And then three goals scored were all quite nice, but our first one specifically, wow, what a goal. Uh, and like I said, I'm sure the goal scorer will be treasuring that moment for the rest of his life. In terms of the second game, I wasn't really meant to pick sides, but I do feel that I became a Wrexham fan for them 90 minutes. Their fans are absolutely incredible, and to bring that many down from Wells is just an achievement in its own, so huge well done to them. Uh, and fingers crossed they can win the playoffs and make their way up to League Two. Uh, you know, it'd be huge for the club, especially with Ryan Reynolds and whatnot in charge now. It would be absolutely massive for them. Uh, and also, one last thing I did want to mention was the flare situation. You may have seen it, not just in Zim, uh, not just in this video, but across the whole country loads of times recently. I probably not meant to say this, but I think it is okay if they're in the crowd, uh, as long as no one gets hurt. You know, it really does bring that European football fan feel to this country. However, throwing on the pitch is just a, you know, full stupid idea. And it also really didn't help them, the Wrexham fans throwing them onto the pitch, because they were picking up some momentum there and they threw it on the pitch and they lost the game in the end, so it was quite stupid. Uh, but again, if you did enjoy watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.